Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in this video I am back again with another quick flutter tutorial and in this video we are going to create this cool hover animation effect in which you can see if we hover over this box it changes the mouse cursor style and also it shows this cool animated effect which looks very clean and polished so we are going to create this box effect in today's video so without any wasting any time let's begin So here I am ready with a new Flutter project created. So let's open this project in our Visual Studio Code editor. And here it is, we have started the project. Now in the project, first of all, we will close the terminal. And uh, first of all, uh, we will go to the lib folder, main.dart file. And in this one, we want to make sure that we don't have the default widget. So we will create a new one. And so we will remove the whole widget, stateful widget that Flutter gives us by default. And after doing this, we don't need these ugly comments. Now you can just change the title. Like I want to make it a hover animation tutorial. So that's it for me. Now we don't need a theme because we will use a default one. And in the home, we will change the home soon. Uh, yeah, that's it. Now what we want to do is we want to create two pages. One will be stateful and one will be stateless. Stateful for our uh, hover card and stateless for our hover card page. So let's create them too. first. Let's create the hover card page. So hover page. Let's give it this name. And inside this we will return a scaffold because this is a whole new page. So it will require a scaffold. And in the body of the scaffold, we will return our hover card, which we will make just now. So after this, let's create a stateful widget. And in this stateful widget, we will name it hover card. So this is our card. And in this card, our main logic will go. So for now, we will just return this card in here. So in the scaffold, in the body, we want to return the hover card. And we want to make sure it is centered. So we will use the center widget. So center and as a child of the center, we want this hover card. So yeah, that's it. Now after doing this, it gives us another error. So that's because we have not given the home page in our material app. So the home page will be for now our hover card page. So hover page right here. And if we save this, uh, we want to just run it inside our Chrome or inside a local app so i will choose google chrome and we will run it so let's wait for it to start so here we go we have created our default app and it has started and here is our placeholder uh, with uh, the debug banner so that means our app is working now what we can do is we can just full screen this so we can just switch between them both so yeah this looks perfect so now we can switch easily now what we what we want to do is we want to just add some logic in the hover card and that will be it so uh, everything will be updated by default or automatically so let's wrap everything with a constant so we don't get this blue lines and uh, we can start with our hover card that is the main thing uh, with this tutorial so what we can do is first of all we will return a stack because basically the logic is we want to return two containers uh, which will be like uh, one will be below the main card and one will be our main card that we, the user could see and uh, in the both cards the back one will be a black color and the above one will be a custom card that we will use so let's just code the logic so first of all in this clip behavior let's give it to none because then it will give that clip clip clipping effect when we to, uh, use the position widget so then we want to make sure that it is aligned to center then we can add some children to it so alignment will be set to center now as a children of this uh, we want a container so uh, first of all we will use the container and in the container we want to specify some width and height so width will be media query of context so of context and dot size dot width so this will be our width and we want to divide the width by 2 so it is size perfectly but you can play around with the parameters right here i am just showing it to, to show you how uh, you can create that hover effect you can just edit everything right here 
so we can use the height and uh, height will be the same media query and we will use dot height instead and instead of dividing it by 2 we will divide the height by 3 now that's it for our container logic let's see if it works so let's give it a color uh, of yellow to just check if it works so okay let's give it a random color and if we switch yeah that's our uh, card and if we just resize the screen it will just resize according to the screen uh, yes that's perfect now what we can do is we can just uh, disable that debug banner on the top so we don't see that again and again so debug so show checkboard manner to false and after we save this uh, when we switch to here you can see there is no check mode banner so now we can continue coding so here we know that the card is working so we will just add some decoration right here so as a decoration we want to give some box decoration and inside the box decoration first of all we want to specify the color of this card so color uh, because this is the card that will be behind or behind the main card so the color will be black we will use the black color and uh, after this we want to give it some border and we want to give the border on all sides and after that we want to set some border radius to border radius to circular because we don't like hard edges and uh, we will give it 20 by default and if you switch to here you can see the black box is created now we want to clone this box but but with some logic so let's just do that so we will just select this whole box and copy this now let's add a comma right here and paste this whole box and now what we want to do is we want to just change the color right here and you will see the magic so what we did is we created a new box uh, about that box so we can if we animate this it will move and we will see the uh, box that is behind this box so i know this is a little complicated but uh, you will understand it by, by while we make it so yeah so this is our box second box now in the second box we want some logic so as the logic we want to wrap it with uh, mouse region because we want to check for hover and also we want to check change the cursor so we want the widget that is mouse region mouse region widget now inside mouse region we will say we want to create uh, on hover function that specifies what we do on hover so uh, that will be an event that will pass an event but we don't want to use it just now but let's keep it as it is now after uh, doing this as it is a stateful widget we can just use the set state method and inside this now we want some variables so what variables we want is we want the x and y doubles so we can just specify var x equals to 0 and var y equals to 0 and that will work uh, you can also do this uh, double to be more precise so double and here also we will just make it double and also uh, we want to make this to 2 when we animate and we want to make this uh, uh, sorry we want to make this pi when we animate and we want to make this 2 when we animate so just to uh, keep a track i have added some comments right here uh, so after doing that in the set state method uh, we want to say if we hover over the box uh, we want to set the x value to pi that we just uh, did right there and we want to set the y value to 2.5 that is half of this value and after doing this uh, if we hover over that box that will not make any change yet so to make any change we want to just add a position widget so we, so we will refactor it and wrap with widget that is position and inside this position what we want to do is we want to just give a top value so top will be uh, our x uh, i am doing it uh, like i am giving the x value to top and y value to left so it is not perfect i know but this works for me you can just rotate this as uh, you want but uh, y works for me in the left and uh, x works for the top so that's it now if you just switch you can see that uh, uh, the box has came out like this animation effect that we should see when we hover but we can see it uh, right here so what's the problem is 
here on the top we want to specify the on exit function so here we say that what we want to do on hover but we didn't say that what we want to do on exit so what we will do is we will just copy this logic right here and we will paste it below and we want to say on exit what we want to do is we want to just set the x and y values to zero again so the box will come back again uh, at its original position so now if we see if we hover it comes out and if we just hover out it goes back with the uh, to its original position so it give, gives a animated effect that looks very cool so now we have the basic animation logic there but still we don't have that animated effect of linear uh, curve so just now we will do that so we will come here in our code and what we will do is instead of position we will wrap it inside an animated position and we will give it a duration of uh, some milliseconds and inside the milliseconds we will set the duration to 200 and what you can do is you can make it a constant so it doesn't give that blue lines now after doing this i think that will be it to give it some yeah now you can see it's very smooth right here and you can just change that values right here uh, like uh, where is that yes you can change this 200 to whatever value or whatever constant you want so you it will be according to your need and requirements now what we want to do is we want to just change the color cursor so for now if you see if we just hover over this box the cursor is the default cursor of our computer but what we want is we want to just show that pointer cursor so to do that uh, what we want to do is we want to come in the mouse region and uh, here we want to say cursor and inside the cursor we want to say system mouse cursors dot and uh, before you type that you will get many options right here and here we want the click cursor because that's one we want and after just doing this you can just select any cursor you want and it will uh, do according to that but we want the click cursor so just setting that will just uh, change the cursor according to what we have selected and we have created the animation and this looks very cool so that was it for this video if you like this video make sure to like this video and also subscribe the channel and comment down below what you want next so yeah this was a quick tutorial i will be back with another one thanks for watching